Hi, welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips, guys. Um, today, I'm unboxing the ATH M50 over-ear headphones by Audio Technica. Now, these are some pretty nice headphones, guys. You can find them online for 129 to 170. That's about the price range. You probably get a little lower, a little higher, depending on what set you get them from. Um, just to first to clear up something for people, because I had this confusion when I was first looking at them, the ATH M50S are these exact headphones, but they just have a straight cord. Here, if I can show you a picture. I don't know. They don't have a picture. But anyways, you know what a curled cord is, like a spiral cord. They have they the the one with the S at the end has a straight cord rather than a curled cord. I wouldn't recommend that one, guys, because it's kind of annoying to have a straight cord. I really like a curled cord because it's shorter and more compact. And if you do need the extra length, you can just stretch it out. So yeah. Anyways, these are probably the best headphones you can get for under $200 if you're looking for a flat response I mean like a fl flat frequency no not too much bass you know like the Beats by Dre has way too much bass I think in my opinion and a lot of people actually say that these are better than the Beats by Dre and for a lot cheaper especially like when you compare them to like the studio and the um, mixers and all the other like $400 $300 Beats by Dre's and yeah so that's why I went with these headphones, guys. They're the, probably the best headphones under two to hundred dollars for over ear headphones for monitoring your mixes. If you're looking for over ear headphones for your like you're listening to music, they might not be the best because they are a little rough on your ears, I guess. But yeah, for if you're looking for a f one some headphones that will give you a flat response and will actually tell you what the music sounds like, and then these are the best bet. So, anyways, I'll just get to unboxing these. These are the white models, as you can see. They just have some pictures of people singing with them. That's the black model, I think. Mixing, yeah. Probably inspired by a shell, I think they're saying. I don't know. And they have their facts here. And their picture on the side. So I'll just get to open them right up. Oh, here's the cord right there. And that's, they come with a little carrying pouch. I wouldn't call it a case because it's just a bag. These are, um, they have their 1 8 inch plug in on the end but it has a quarter inch adapter in it for those who want it for a more professional sound because everything yeah everything you if it's if you're doing professional auto you usually use a quarter inch anyways here you go so open it up and right there just dump everything out actually pretty easy there's the headphones guys right there and yeah Let's see if I can off them out. They feel pretty sturdy, and they're people were. I heard people were saying these are heavy, but they're pretty light in my uh, in my opinion. Yeah, they got nice some nice ear cups. I like that these rotate right here too as well. Most headphones you get just rotate right on the ear itself. But these actually rotate up here. And one the way I tell if headphones are good is how I pulling it down, how it feels. If it feels really flimsy, it's I think it's cheap. This feels pretty it doesn't it doesn't click very solid, but it's it's not like rackety. It's very tight in where it is and feels substantial. So right out of the bat, these look like nice headphones. I went with the white because I already have a black pair of the Sony MD. Our 676ers, which are also a very good headphone, but I wanted to branch out and go with some Audio Technicas, and these look pretty nice too. So yeah, uh, they, here's the carrying case right here. Does it have the no logo on it? Oh, it has little a little sewn on thing right there. That's nice, you know. I just store it in there occasionally. Um, it has warranty right here I think oh your registration and then down here which I dropped it has your disposal of old electronic equipment okay I don't know what that is something that they have to send out anyways yeah you don't really need instructions guys it basically is I know Apple likes to say their products are plug and play or whatever everyone likes to say that I guess but these are literally plug-and-play, or plug-and-listen, plug-in. 
plug and record, plug and whatever you would do with them. Yeah, they don't. One thing CNET noted was that they don't have an in, like an inline microphone, for if you're planning on using it for taking calls on your um, iPhone or phone, whatever it is. But guys, if you really want a nice over your headphones, I'd look at the V Motos. Those look, they look pretty nice. I heard they aren't the best sounding, but they, if you really want like a luxury headphones, they're pretty cheap. Or just go with the Beats by Dre. Those are always nice. Or the like the Sony's, you know. There's so many good headphones out there. You really can't go wrong. But if you're looking for ones that are a uh, flat response and they're going to let you hear your mix, how it sounds actually and not make it sound different, I'd go with these guys. I haven't actually tried them, but everywhere I've said, everywhere I've looked, I've heard that these are the best. So yeah, just hopefully if you watch this video, you don't have to look anywhere else to find out that these are the headphones for you. So yeah. Um, comment if you, if you think that I'm wrong and there are better headphones and I'll, and I'll maybe reply back or something or leave a video response if you have an unboxing of your headphones. I always leave my videos open for video responses because I want you guys to keep the conversation open. Um, like, subscribe, share this video, you know what to do. You guys are all professional YouTubers doing your thing. Um, yeah. Thanks guys for watching and peace out.